Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Well, there's a live look at the MDU Resources Community Bowl as it is homecoming night here for the Legacy Sabres as they will play host to their crosstown rival, the Bismarck Demons, on a smoke-filled evening here at the MDU Resources Community Bowl. Hi, good evening, football fans. Scott Woodman's here alongside Josh Cattell for a crosstown rivalry here today. As we said, the Legacy Sabres coming in, looking for their first victory on the season as uh, they are 0-3 and the Bismarck Demons, well, they've got a two-game winning streak going right now. They come in 2-1 and one and certainly have changed things from last year. And Josh, uh, I know you had a chance last week uh, to see Minot High and Mandan up there, but this will be your first look at these two teams. But certainly the Demons going in the right direction, the Sabres, well, they're just still starting to try and find what direction that is. Yeah, young team, a bunch of new guys out there playing. They they're still trying to find their way. Bismarck High, you know, a year ago, that was what they were going through. So um, you can see that Bismarck High is taking the step in the right direction. And like we were talking earlier today, it's going to, this thing's going to come down to the end of the year for, for the triple, the, this level of football. Yeah, there's no question about it. As you're listening to the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show, Valvoline Instant Oil Change locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find us online at VIOC. Dot com. Well, I think the concern early, well, today and, and now was, will they play this football game? And uh, as of right now, yes, I have been told that once the air quality gets to 180, um, uh, that's when, uh, uh, according to the Bismarck Public Schools and uh, the athletic director, Dave Zittleman, that's when the concerns start to factor. But certainly, Josh, uh, as the day has rolled on, it certainly has gotten worse. And, you know, you can't even see across the big muddy right now. Yeah, it's uh, 
I tell you what, just being outside, you can you can feel it. I can't imagine what it's like running around in it. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Yeah, as uh, this one they get ready to play here. Again, it is homecoming night here. Uh, the Legacy Sabres uh, playing host to the Demons at the MDU Resource Community Bowl Crosstown Rivalry here on the PSP Network. Also on the PSP Network, Century, well, Century's playing host to Minot High, and that is at the Sanford Sports Complex on the north end of town. So two football games in the capital city here for you tonight. If you're not able to make it out, well, sit back, relax, and enjoy it right here on the PSP Network. Our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show rolls on with more. We come back, we'll take a look inside the Legacy Sabres and the Bismarck Demons. You're listening to AAA Football on the PSP Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Back to our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Josh Cattell, Scott Woodmancy with you from the MDU Resource Community Bowls. We get you set for the Sabres and the Demons here on home coming night for the Legacy Sabres. Valvoline Instant Oil Change, timely services that won't slow you down. No appointment needed. Stay in your car, drive in your stay in your car, drive through oil change. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Well, Josh, first of all, we take a look at the visitors, the, the Bismarck High Demons, and. Uh, well, it's safe to say that Bismarck High uh, right now has got things turned around. Last season, uh, winless, first time in school history, and certainly the first time in, in, in the Mark Gibson area, era. You know, they had been in the uh, play, missed, you know, they missed the playoffs for the last time, in, uh, for the first time last year in the Gibson area, made it 32 straight years into the playoffs. But with that being said, they had a bunch of juniors that have now become seniors and certainly have stepped up and accepted that role uh, here this year. Yeah, especially look on the defense side of the ball. 10 of the 11 starters are seniors. Um, you know, they were juniors last year. They were trying to find their way. They were trying to figure out their roles, doing all that. Now they're comfortable in their roles, and it shows um, offensively. You know, last year, they're probably their biggest struggle was at the old line. Um, now those guys are all a year older because I don't think they graduated a whole lot off that team top to bottom. So, uh, and then you got big Jack Schaefer on the old line. That helps to have a, a D1 prospect, um, helps move some people on the old line. Well, yeah, you talk about Jack Schaefer, a uh, young man, you know, certainly 
definitely a guy, a, a versatile kid, you know, but plays basketball. Uh, you know, he was fifth in the shot in the disc last year at the state track meet. So certainly at 6'6", 330, you know what I've been told too, that, you know, they've actually pl been playing him at a little bit of nose guard. So uh, try to plug things up in the middle. So it'll be interesting to see, watch him tonight, if he's going to play both sides of the football for the Demons. Right, and that's just a nice weapon to have when you got a, a player of that caliber. And then the other thing you mentioned, you know, two-sport, multi-sport athlete. You're starting to see a couple of those names back on Bismarck High's roster too, guys that are playing basketball. You, you see them in the track, you, you know. That's the history of Bismarck High football right there has been the multi-sport well, athlete. And, that, that, and that's been one of their strengths is, is, you know, wrestling, basketball, hockey, and track. But if you look at and you break down the kids this year is that you've got Luke Doctor basketball. You've got Jack Schaefer basketball, Ross Fisher basketball, Ty Lutzen basketball, Quinn Hafter basketball, Carter Henke basketball. So And Andre he, Austin. And out. Andre Austin, he comes out for football this year. So you got a lot of kids. Jordan Williams got a lot of kids playing on this football team. But again, that's kind of been the history of Bismarck High is just how all these multi-sport athletes uh, you know what I don't you know you talked about Andre Austin you know he, I don't know if he even thought about going off of football but certainly an athlete a guy that can add to the football team and uh, that's just been the history of Bismarck High football yeah without a doubt and and you know when you go through the spells where you're not getting that and the success stops to happen that's you, you gotta you know Say good job, Coach Gibson, Coach Wilhelm, Coach, all the coaches for going. Let's get this athletic department back where it needs to be, right? <laughs> well, and that's uh, certainly are doing that. As Mark Gibson made the comment, he said, "Starting fresh is something this school needs." Well. Right now, they're getting a fresh start on the football uh, field as uh, uh, Bismarck High comes in at 2-1 and one as uh, receiving votes in the most recent uh, AAA uh, media poll as there you see it right there. Uh, Fargo Shanley still holding that number one spot followed by Cheyenne at number two and Minot three. That hasn't changed from last week. Bismarck High not ranked as they slip in. Uh, Davies moves down from four to five and then Century, Mandan and West Fargo receiving votes. So certainly uh, Shanley and Cheyenne flexing their muscle out east. And then you got Monad High and Bismarck making some noise out here. But again, uh, it, it's early yet. We saw what Century did last year. So certainly uh, you can't count out any of these teams uh, out here in the western half of the state. We near the opening kick and the starting lineups as our Vavilene Instant Oil Change pregame show rolls on. We come back. We'll take a look at the home team on the scoreboard tonight, the Legacy Sabres. You're listening to AAA High School Football on the PSP Network. The right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Well, welcome back to our Vaveline Instant Oil Change pregame show. We know you're busy. When you visit our service center, we don't waste our time or yours. Our technicians can typically perform a full oil change service in about 15 minutes. Check them out, Vaveline Instant Oil Change. While we take a look at the home team on the scoreboards, scoreboard, the Legacy Sabres and uh, Josh, uh, you know, I, I, you know, when you look at at the preseason uh, rankings um, well I say I didn't change one of them there but you know legacy was actually ranked ahead of Bismarck high in some polls but uh, 
Uh, Biz but now Bismarck High certainly has shown that they're going to be a team to contend with. And Legacy right now, you know, three games into this whole season, they need to find something to do offensively. They, 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 they've got to find somewhere to get some points on the board because it has been a struggle that I, you know, I have not seen out of Legacy since they've been in existence. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's tough. Like we talked about a second ago, you know, they're a little young. They've got some inexperience in some key spots. Um, but they do have some talent out there. They got some size. You know, Alex Visca, the tight end, 40, 6'4, 210. Um, Lucas Cup for wide receiver, 6'5, plays hoops, good athlete. Um, but you got to protect and you got to be able to run the ball a little bit. And you got to be accurate at quarterback. I mean, they got to put it all together at the same time. And we just haven't seen that so far this year. Well, yeah. And, and here's a, you know, now they're going up against a Bismarck High defense that uh, has certainly been one to contend with as, you know, Bismarck High just giving up 15 points on the ground or uh, on the season scoring the football but uh, legacy on the other side offensively they're only averaging seven points on the offensive side of the ball three games into the season now I'm sure it's a frustration for coach Clem and the coaching staff but again you got to keep coaching these kids up I mean as you very well know being a former coach yourself and I'm sure it's hard for these coaches when they're in this situation but hey you're the leaders as we got to do and you just got to find some kids to step up and I guess I'll pose the question to you Josh you know it, at, at, at what stage you start giving some younger kids some time yeah I think it, part of it is you know they already got young kids playing and spots yeah. you know so that's that's part of it um, you just it's hard to do because everybody wants wins and losses right that's what everybody sees but you got to find small victories throughout this thing and develop and, and get better and once you get one piece of the game better now we move on to the next one you try to build that way develop um, you know so you can you know hopefully be like you know Bismarck High a year ago to this year you know all of a sudden you can competitive again once guys get comfortable in their new roles yeah that's uh, exactly right as you talked about a couple of young men uh, you know they had some big losses last year Jackson Kellogg uh, you know he's a first team all state linebacker Vegas George was second team all state and Logan Miller so when you lose a first teamer and two second teamers you know that tells you now on the flip side of that when you look at the head to head series between these two teams it's tied at four legacy has won the last two and three out of the last four last year legacy defeated Bismarck 35 to 14 so certainly the Bismarck high demons are going to say okay enough's enough and and we'll see here what happens tonight but I'm guessing this one might be had been on the schedule for the demons at the start of this season well I, I would just imagine there's a few check marks on the old uh, <laughs> schedule for the demons this year and you know things they're not used to like we talked about but now it's it gives you a whole nother sense of motivation and some of these other schools you know they've had the success now they got to find a new way to motivate themselves to stay in this you know stay competitive well, we talked a little bit about it, but uh, some of our keys of the game uh, brought to you by Northern Plains uh, Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Uh, we talked about legacy. It's, you know, and we got Bismarck there. Legacy, Bismarck consistent, legacy offense. Well, it may be a consistent, and you touched on it before we went on, and maybe, maybe it should be legacy consistency and Bismarck High consistent and 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 part of that consistency goes into that offense and it be able to you know establish one drive yeah you know so far in the year that they have not scored in the first quarter of any game so it's going to be important for them to come out and have some success early get some things going offensively try to build off that you, you it's hard when you're always playing from behind, especially when you're maybe not as talented as the other team. Yeah, that's exactly right. As the Demons have made their way back out onto the playing field again, it is homecoming night here. A pretty decent crowd on hand. Some folks still filing in up here at the MDU Resources Community Bowl for Bismarck High, the Demons, and the Sabres as uh, the Legacy High School Band out in full force. Let's take a quick look, too, uh, at our upcoming schedule next week. Well, we've got some time. As you'll see, volleyball might not at Century on Tuesday. Thursday, we got uh, two of them for you, Williston and Minot and Century and Bismarck High in volleyball. Friday, 
Shanley, if the Deacons come to town to take on Century, and Fargo Davies travels up to take on Minot. And then we got some Class B action coming up for you. Class B football, uh, Class AA, or I'm sorry, Class A football, Stanley and Bishop Ryan. Uh, that's all next week uh, right here on the uh, PSP Network. So lots of football to come for you. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, uh, leading up to the, the Dakota Bowl. Time for our national anthem starting lineups. Opening kick next, right here on the PSP Network. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shaw's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick! What's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off! Seven, pressure, points, yeah! It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot! Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. Well, welcome back to the MB Resource Committee Bowl and our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show as we get set for the Demons and the Sabres here on homecoming night for Legacy High School as we did not see who won the toss. As it appears, the Demons must have won and deferred because they're introducing a defensive unit, so we'll give that to you. They'll go like this up front at nose guard will be Aiden Schlapp and he's 5'10", 210 in the senior. At one end will be Tyson Jangula, he's 6'3", 200 in the senior. The other end will be Luke Doctor, 6'3", 225 in the senior. The linebacking court led by Carter Hankey, 6'1", 205 in the senior. And Bridger Owens, 5'11", 190 in the senior. Braxton Just, 6'1", 185 in the senior. And James Nagel, 6'1", 180 in the senior. At one corner will be Jaron McNichols, 5'9", 175 in the senior. And Ty Lutzen, 5'10", 165 in the senior. Uh, at the free safety will be Connor Harbison, 5'8", 160 in the junior. And the strong safety will be Ashton Mozov. He's 5'10", 170 and a senior. The head coach in his 25th year at the helm is Mark Gibson. For the home team on the scoreboard offensively, they'll go like this up front at center will be Evan Hag, 6'3", 225 and a junior. The right guard will be Braxton Hager, 6'1", 240 and a senior. The left guard, Hunter Peterson, 5'11", 260 and a senior. The right tackle will be Cody Peterson. He's 6'2", 285 and a senior, and the left tackle will be Wyatt Weary. It's 5'11", 250 and a senior. The tight end, Alex Visca, 6'4", 210 and a senior. And a one wide receiver will be Kalen Lucas, 5'8", 125 and a junior. Well, that just doesn't seem right, does it? 5'8", now that's what they got him at, 125 and a junior. The other wide out will be Jack Juleson, 6'155 and a sophomore. At the tailback spot will be Jared Frank, 5'7", 165 and a senior. And the quarterback will be Isaac Mitchell, 6'160 and a senior. Their head coach in his ninth season is Chris Clements. Clements 33 and 42 in his career at Legacy. As we said, Legacy coming in here looking for their first victory uh, this season. And they hope to get that tonight against the Bismarck High Demons. As you mentioned, uh, boy, I tell you what, it just seems like every 
five minutes, it just gets thicker and thicker, this fog. But nonetheless, we're going to play some football here tonight. Yeah, I think once this thing gets started, it's going to be really hard to get anybody off the field. So um, obviously the health is, is a priority, but uh, I think everybody's doing all right. So we're going to play some football tonight. Well, you've been listening to our Vaveline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Timely services that won't slow you down. No point we need it. Stay in your car, drive through oil change. That's Vaveline Instant Oil Change. I want to thank them for sponsoring our pregame show. A reminder, also on the PSP Network tonight, Nick Hallberg over at the Sanford Sports Complex. Uh, Century playing host to Minot High. Minot High certainly showing their, per flexing their proverbial muscle as they're 3-0 on the season. An impressive win last week against Mandan, which uh, you had a chance to call. Yeah, Coach Endershot's doing a great job with that, that whole program right now. They've got uh, great numbers, a ton of a ton of size and athletic ability, and, and the one that stands out is the Conklin kid, is, of course. I mean, he is kind of a man amongst boys out there. I mean, whether it's playing on defense, tackling, uh, he had a huge game last Friday. Well, we're ready for football here as the Demons will tee it up. Carter Hinkey will kick it off. Back to receive will go Lucas and Frank for the Sabres. Sabres in there. Black uniforms with Vegas gold numbering, black helmets. Vegas gold logo on the helmets, the Demons, and their whites with maroon numbers, maroon helmets. And we are ready to go as, as Jared Frank, he'll be the deep man for the Sabres. As Hanky gets set to kick it away. Left footer approaches it and kick is away, and it's a good one. Frank angles the near sideline, caught at the 5 10, angles up midfield 15, and fights his way across the 20, still on his feet, still moving, and the forward progress. Braxton just got down there to make the stop on special teams as forward progress. They're going to spot him at, uh, I believe, the 22, maybe the 23, and that's where the Sabres will take over. First and 10, uh, the first offensive possession of the game here tonight. Sabres offense breaks the huddle from their head coach, Chris Clements, and they go trips to the far side of the field. Ball spotted left hash. Isaac Mitchell, the senior quarterback. Frank stands alongside him. They give it to Frank, comes in. Oh, he bobbles it, but he's hang on across the 25 out to the 27. And in there, Bridger Owens and Jared McNichols in on the stop there for the Demons. Yeah, just trying to get some leverage. Three receivers to the right, tight end. We call it a, a dead head tight end to the boundary. And they got the guard and center out there. Just couldn't get enough movement, uh, but a good first down. That's a that's second and manageable. It's yeah, a great place to be. Yeah, gain of three. That'll be second and seven. And as he got it out to the 28-yard line, just underway, Johnny Haugen. On the camera for us here tonight on the PSP Network. Glad to have him aboard. Glad to have you all aboard as well. Now they motion and they give it. Nope, fake it. Mitchell goes straight up the middle, breaks a tackle across the 30, fights his way to the 35, and he's got a first down. Nifty play there by Isaac. They faked the jet sweep to Lucas, and Mitchell kept it, found a seam, and picked up the first down. Yeah, nice job there. Just, uh, you know, the motion guy affects the eyes of the linebackers and the defense, and Finds a crease, and there you go. First first down of the night for the legacy. Yep, this is the Sabres. Well, now we'll have it first and 10 from their own 36-yard line. Just underway here from the MD Resource Community Bowl. Slot to the right. Receiver split left and right. They hand off Frank going right. Follows his big tackle there, and he's going to be stood up. Luke Doctor, the defensive end there. Answers the call for the Demons, and it will be a short gain. They're going to give him a gain of one. Nice job by Doctor there. He, he read the down blocks, saw the pullers, hugged the line of scrimmage as he ran it down from behind, and uh, tackle for minimum gain there because of good discipline by the DN. Lucas Kupfer brings the play in from the sideline. John Breitbach, the calls the plays for the Sabres, and now Mitchell. Two receivers to his left, slot to the left as well. Receiver to the high side. There goes Lucas in motion, fakes it to him. Mitchell keeps it, runs right by the defense up to the 40 and brought down at the 41-yard line. Lutzen had to come up and make the stop. 
So an nifty move there by Mitchell, the quarterback, and a pretty good offensive start here for the Sabres. Yeah, as we talked about in the pregame, Big Jack Schaefer and a nose there on that play does a great job initially of getting in. Yes, they do. And the clock winds, 9.18, as I see we uh, something we've got an issue with our clock on the screen. They set up a screen pass underneath. Lucas, he's got room, 45, 50, cuts back. 40 in demon territory all the way down to the 35-yard line. That's Jared Frank on the screen, so a big play there. Yeah, great call by the coaching staff there. Bismarck High brings the pressure, and uh, nice job by Isaac Mitchell. That's not always easy to do to throw a little touch pass like that over the hands of the entire defensive line, but uh, well executed there by uh, Legacy. Yeah, we got an injured demon on the field. I did not see who that number was as they tend to him over on the, towards the Legacy sideline as Mark Gibson makes his way out. See who that is, and oh, and that's going to be, I believe that's Lutzen. Yeah, it is. Lutzen's going to come off the field. He, oh, no, it's eight, number eight. Oh, it is number eight. Okay, so that would be Grady, Grady Swanson injured there. So Swanson comes off with the help. I don't know, we did not have a timeout as both teams get their respective instructions. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Minot State University with more than 96% of recent Minot State grads employed or continue their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Here's Isaac Mitchell, he's got his team on the move, slot to his left, and I think he got the demons to jump on the hard count. And that was Schlafen there trying to get a kick start. And they're going to spot five more towards the Demon goal line. Yeah, nice job with the hard count there. Those are, you take the free ones when you get them. And that's now we're, we're, you know, they're playing ahead of the sticks tonight so far in this opening drive. And I mean, that was what we talked about pregame. That, that's so far so good for legacy offense. So now they've got a first down and short, first and five after the uh, encroachment penalty. Mitchell back to pass. Look, oh, he's pressured. He eludes it. Angles towards the sideline. Ball comes out, but it goes out of bounds. As boy, the demons brought the house there. And the old pump fake gets Doctor off his feet. Yep. Nice job of not panicking by uh, Isaac Mitchell there and making something out of nothing. 8.28 to go here. Opening quarter of play. First off offensive possession of the night, and it belongs to Legacy, and they've got it in demon territory. It'll be second and five from the Demon 29-yard line. Kupfer split wide left. Mitchell, hands up. Nope, Frank over the right side. And I don't know if he got enough for the first down. Bridger Owens, the linebacker, coming over to make the stop for the Demons, and it'll bring up. No, he didn't, did he? Oh, he lost a yard. Yeah, third and two, I didn't get a couple there, but third Oh, did he, a yeah, third and three, okay, yeah, he did get a couple, okay. So third down and three now for the Sabres. You know, nice job so far by this offensive line for Legacy. They're, they're getting some movement up front, they're getting some creases for the backs, and um, a lot of positives so far for Legacy. Well, offense. now they changed the third down and four now for Isaac Mitchell, the senior quarterback. Mitchell looks right, steps up, flush, he's on the move. And 15, and he's brought down there by Bridger Owens, but I think he's going to be short at the 20, 25. I said the 15, I apologize. It's the 25-yard line. So now the Sabres are faced with a decision here, and I'm sure that decision is going to be pretty easy for head coach Chris Clements. They're going to go for it on fourth down and one. Yeah, big Jack Schaefer back in the game yeah. for this short yardage. This is going to be the matchup right here on this play. Mitchell. Barks out the signals, demons, oh, and that's not what they wanted. Those are the kinds of things that you cannot have happen. Yeah, they go with the hard count, trying to get uh, Bismarck High to jump off and, and cause themselves a penalty in the, uh, doing it. Well, now they've got to be forced now into a throw situation as Juleson brings a play in from the sideline on fourth down and six for the Sabres. They spread the field, twins right, twins left. 
Frank stands alongside Mitchell. Mitchell back to pass. Here comes the heat. Mitchell gets out of the pocket. That ball's loose. Now picked up and brought down in the backfield is Jared Frank and the Demon defense has been a stingy one and they come up big there and the Demons will take it over on downs. Yeah, nice job Tyson Jangle off the edge. It's a good pass rush and it looked like he was going to lose contain for a second but reaches his arm out, causes some disruption and they get the fumble and uh, that's a big stop for Bismarck High. So the Demons up front will be Larson at center, Braden Wolf and Harold Stead of the guards. Heupel and uh, Schaefer are the tackles. Doctor the tight end. Ross Fisher the split end. Lutzen, he's the flanker. Bridger Owens and Hanky in the backfield. And Quinn Hafner's the quarterback. Hafner out of the eye. Single receiver, receiver left and right. Hafner hands off. Hanky jump cut back up in the middle of the field. And he's across the 40 there. And a good gain there by Carter Hanky. Nice jump cut as well. Picked up some positive yards. It'd be second imaginable for the Demons. Yeah, great movement on the line of scrimmage. A uh, little ISO play with the fullback. And uh, that's a good start. Demons as Hafner goes under center. Work out of the eye formation. Hanky dots the eye. They give it to Owens. Yep, back. He fights his way. And I think he's got the first down out near the 45. Lincoln Lamar makes a stop there for Legacy. A little fullback dive and uh, the chains move. We'll see what, uh, you know, Bismarck High, we talked about, have been very, very consistent. 50-50 uh, almost run pass this year. And, um, you, you like where they're starting all of a sudden now the play action comes into yeah, play. Yeah, absolutely. A first down and 10 now from their own 44 yard line. And what are we going to have here? Oh, we're going to have an officials timeout, I do believe. Or did Bismarck High call timeout? Oh, we got a Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. That was the leading North American insurance brokerage. 5.58 to go, opening quarter of play on the BNC Bank scoreboard. No score, the Sabres and the Demons back after this timeout on the PSP Network. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. I ride Zoom, Spider 2 Y Banana. You don't like that one, okay. So I ride 40 Power. Wow. You don't want that one either? Yes. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Well, here we go on first down and 10, and they hand up Hanky trying to bounce to the outside, turns up field, gets a couple, and we've been informed that at the six minute mark of every quarter, they're gonna take what they call a, well, we'll, we'll call the Hubbard International Insurance smoke break uh, uh, due to the, uh, the dense smoke in the area. Uh, they're gonna give these kids a little breather, so. Pretty good idea there. So that was why it was an official's timeout. So no timeout charged to either team. Here the Demons are second down and seven from their own 47 yard line. Sabres show blitz. Hafner rolling out, throws it underneath. Oh, caught and dropped in the hands there. The intended receiver for the Demons. That was Tyson Jangula. Yeah, legacy selling out defensively. They're bringing everybody. They're going to try to do what they can to stop the run. Um, fortunate there for the drop. Otherwise, that could have been a big play for Bismarck High. That yeah, is Lamar, but it's, Lamar's not playing. So the Demons in a third down and seven. Slot to the right, two receivers wide right. Hafter. Shuffles his feet, and boy, he's not going to get it. As a good defensive play there, 
by Bennett Lawn of, oh, I'm sorry, Carter Zins makes a stop. So it'll be fourth and five, and the Demons are going to have to punt the football away. Yeah, Carter comes off the backside, um, kind of just replaced the pullers where they left. He got through there and ran the thing down from behind. So back to punt it away for the Demons will be Carter Hankey. Back to receive goes Juleson for Sabres. Tonight's game brought to you in part by the UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot. They're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 7, Saturdays 8.30 to 3. UPS store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza for all your packing and shipping needs. Henke, good kick. Juleson runs up, fair catch called for. Oh boy, that's going to be a flag. Yes, it is. Called for the fair catch and, um, you know, that's a tough one there because a good hustle play by Connor Harvison, but the fair catch was called for. Juleson was on the ground, and Harvison just hammered him. Yeah, a little unnecessary there. Probably, uh, you know, you always said it as a coach, it's a lot easier to pull back on the reins than to kick him in the butt, but that one was just, uh, uh, you don't like to see that one. 15 yards there tagged on to the end of the play. Nope, so now the Sabres come out for their second offensive possession. They're going to have it after the penalty, first and 10 from their own 33-yard line. It'll be interesting what Legacy does here. Ran the ball really effectively in the first drive. Um, let's see if they get a little more of the passing game involved here. Yep, as Kupfer wide left along with Lucas. Mitchell's going to keep it. He goes straight up the middle. He's got room at the 40. He spins down to the 42. So Mitchell, Lutzen had to make the stop. Isaac Mitchell on a shifty run there. Picks up nine, and we'll call it second down and one now for the Sabres. Yeah, it looked like he was dead to rights at the line of scrimmage, but he, yeah. just, he patiently waited for that pull to get in there and make his block and stuck in behind him and picked up good yards on first down. Sabres now on second down and one from their own 42 yard line. Mitchell, Lucas over the right side, breaks the tackle, spins at the 45, still on his feet, drives towards the midfield. Almost got there, but they're going to spot him down at the 49 yard line. So Jared Frank, I stand corrected. Good hard run there by the senior tailback from Legacy. Yeah, tough run there. He, he ran through about three arm tackles before they finally got him down. Uh, you know, if you're Bismarck High right now, you got to sure up something with those first couple guys that get to the ball. They're missing tackles and allowing for positive gains. Yes, they are. First down at 10 now. New back then. Oh, breaking free at the 45 40, still on its feet, down to the 35. And on the carry there, that was Connor Lang. The 160 pound junior and a big run there for Connor Lang and another first down for the Sabres. Yeah, they, that was a pretty big crease there given up by Bismarck High. Uh, you know, we can't even talk about Legacy's offense. Bismarck High defensively has to do a better job on first and second down here. So Lang stays in there. He lines up right next to his quarterback, Isaac Mitchell. Mitchell goes left, trying to get the outside, turns up field, and he's going to be smothered right there. And that was in on the stop there. That was Coulter Harvison. Or was that 48 or was that 18? I think that was 18. Braxton Just, I think, was one of them in there. There was a couple defenders on that stop for Bismarck High. So a gain of one for the Sabres. It'll be second down and nine. 222 left to go here. Opening quarter play. No score on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Juleson comes in motion from right to left. Mitchell, Frank, he's got room, cuts inside, and he's going to be swarm number there. That was Doctor on the stop there for the Demons, and as well as DJ Gabriel in there too for Bismarck High. Yeah, early right now, we're seeing a lot of guys playing for both sides of the ball, not start, you know, they're playing two, three deep, and. and Maybe, I don't know if that's because of the smoke or what that has to do with, but uh, so, a lot of depth. Yep, third down and seven now for the Sabres. They go twins left, single receiver to the high side. Now he motions right to left. Mitchell, he's going to keep it going left, and he's going to be brought down. That's Tyson Jenga, the defensive end on that side. Wasn't going to let Mitchell get by him, so now it'll be another fourth down situation for the Sabres, and I'm guessing they're going to go for it from their own or from the Demon 29-yard line. 
And I think this is that deep down in distance that offensively you got to be good at if you want to extend drives, whether it's third and five or fourth and five. These are the plays that, that, that get you some momentum. So fourth down and four now for the Sabres. Inside Demon territory from the 29. Mitchell back to pass, throws a screen pass, and it's going to be caught at the 25. Uh, nope, they're going to say it bounced. That would be incomplete. So the Demons hold the Sabres on downs, and Bismarck High will get the football. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Roger Ward Moving and Storage. They've probably been helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com to schedule a move or find a quote, Roger Ward Moving and Storage. So the Demons with 55.1 to play in the opening quarter will get the ball first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. Quinn Hafner under center. Hanky dots the eye. Hafner rolling to his right. Look at, oh, he's got a man wide open, and he throws it underneath. He had a man over the top, wide open. Over the top there was Ross Fisher. He threw it underneath the doctor, and he couldn't hang on to it. Oh, they got the play action. That's one you're not going to want to watch tomorrow on film because <laughs> uh, you don't get those a lot where guys are just running down the field wide open. That's unfortunate for Bismarck High, and, and, they, and they don't complete the pass, and so now it's second and ten, so... Yeah. Two wrongs don't make a right in football. No, they don't. Second down and 10 now for the Demons as Hafner once again goes under center. Lone back behind him is Bridger Owens. Slot to the left as well. Hafner back to pass. He throws it out down the near side and over the outstretched arms there of the intended receiver for Bismarck High. That was Andre Austin. Yeah, he had the you know one-on-one -on -one matchup. He had a ton of field to work with there. Just threw it a little over the outstretched arms of Andre. We made a great effort to go get that ball. So now it'll be third and ten now for the Demons. 44.7 to play, and appears it'll be another passing situation for Bismarck High. Fisher goes wide left. Hafner back to pass. They set the screen up. Here's Owens. He's got big Jack Schaefer out there. 25. Went the wrong way. And he's going to be brought down as Bridger Owens. Oh, the ball's loose. The ball comes out. And the Sabres say they have it. And they do. So a big defensive play there for the Sabres. And they get the ball in demon territory. Yeah, I'm not sure who that was for Legacy yeah. out there, but did a good job. Jack Schaefer was leading the way, and, and he kind of played, you know, Jack Schaefer both sides of him, and when the running back made his cut, he eluded the block, and that's a big play right there for Legacy. So Legacy now has it first down and 10 from the demon 25-yard line. 36 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Legacy a little late in getting somebody on the field. Now they get Visca out there. Mitchell, he's going to keep it, runs left, cuts back inside, and he's down to about the 23, maybe the 22-yard line. Goes Isaac Mitchell. Yeah, Tyson Jangler right in the middle of that tackle again. I tell you, he's been impressive so far. He's, whether it's been in the run or the pass, he's uh, he's had a good game so far. Yeah, Jangler Jang and Doctor have been very active on those end positions for Bismarck High. And I think Legacy's probably just going to let the clock wind down as it's down to three, two, and I don't know if Mitchell's going to get it off. Nope, he will not. And that's going to end the opening quarter here from the MD Resources Community Bowl on the BNC Bank scoreboard as we go to break. Legacy zero, Demon zero, back with quarter number two after this timeout on the PSP Network. We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. 
because authentic ingredients make a sub above. After one quarter, no score in the books on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Legacy has it in demon territory. BNC National Bank, your life is busy. We'll make managing money easy with locations in North Dakota and Arizona. Visit BNC Bank online, bnc.bank. As the Sabres are going to have it, second down and eight from the 23-yard line of the Demons. Both defenses have not broke yet. We'll see if the Sabres can punch one in on this drive. Here's Mitchell back to pass. Looks down the far sideline. He's got a man out there looking intended for Kupfer. An incomplete on the coverage there. That was McNichols for the Demons. So that'll bring up a third down and eight now for the Sabres. Yeah, that's good coverage by uh, McNichols there. Got in his hip pocket, ran the route for him. But as the quarterback, when you got the 6'5 kid out there, you got to give him a chance. You don't, you don't want to overthrow the, the bigger, taller athlete there. Give him a ball, he can go up in high point. So third down and eight now for the Sabres. Not sure what the range of Reese Snow is. The field goal kicker. But here's Mitchell on third down, rolling, left-hander sets, sets under pressure, throws across the middle, throws it high, and incomplete as he overthrew the intended receiver and it went in and out of the hands there of Connor Harvison. So now to bring up a fourth down, and they are going to bring on Reese Snow. This will be, what do you got, 35, 33? 33. Yeah. Yeah, 33 yard field goal here now for Reese Snow. 43? 40. 40 yarder, yeah, okay, right on the 30. Snap, hold. Left footed kick is up, and does it have enough? No, it is short. So the 40 yard field goal attempt by Reese Snow comes up short and the Demons hold once again. Yeah, if you're Coach Gibson right here now, I mean, the ball's, <laughs> the ball's been on your side of the field the whole night. You need your offense to, you know, obviously you want to score on every drive, but we got to flip the field here for Bismarck High. Yeah. The defense has been under duress and has done a good job standing up so far. Hey, tonight's game brought to you in part by Jersey Mike's. Make sure to vote for this week's Jersey Mike's Player of the Week on the PSP Network Facebook page, Jersey Mike's is a sub above. Well, the Demons now have it first and 10 from their own 23-yard line. Hafter goes under center. Hanky coming left, cuts back inside, breaks a tackle across the 25. Out near the 30, brought down just shy at the 29-yard line goes Carter Hanke. Nope, we're gonna spot it back at the 28. Yeah, what a nice, good game there. Nice job, job stretching out the defense before he, put his, before he put his foot in the ground and got vertical. It just extended that kick out block a little bit. And got positive yards on first down. So we'll call it second down and two now for the Demons. Quinn Hafner sets him down. Receiver split left and right. Eye backfield. Sabre show blitz. Hanky straight up the middle. He's got the first down. Fights for more. And he's going to be stood up there. In there for the Sabres was... Brett Miller also in there for Legacy. That was Brady Sivak. I think that's going to be a key right there for Bismarck High. Can we get positive yards on first down? You know, the last drive they passed it three times and, and punted, you know, so this is uh, that's a good sign there getting first down on the ground. So first down and 10 now for the Demons from their own 33. I backfield, here's Hanke going left. Nice jump cut there. He's at the 40, 45, 50, and he's into Sabre territory, brought down at the 47-yard line. On the stop there, that was Lincoln Lamar on the stop for the Sabres, but not until after a big gain there by Carter Hankey. Yeah, really impressed with Carter so far the game. He is a big, strong, athletic kid. I mean, he's, he, that was a power run all the way, dragging legacy defenders for a few yards. Now coming in that, that tailback spot will be, or Ashton Mozoff will go to that tailback spot. Now Hafner sets him down, ball spotted short side of the field. Mozoff comes left. He fights his way up towards the 45, and he's gonna be driven backwards once again. 
Lincoln Lamar leading the charge. Also in there was Brett Miller, the linebacker for the Sabres. Lincoln Lamar, he's having himself a game right now. He is very active on that defensive line, whether it's in the backfield or, you know, the, the previous play, he was 10 yards downfield making it from behind. So uh, very active tonight. Quick first half here from the bowl, but I guess that's what happens huh? when everybody runs the football. So run, run, run. Second out and eight now for the Demons. Henke back in there. He dots the eye. Play action again. Rolling out. They throw it underneath. Caught. Doctor turns up field. 40. Dragon tacklers. He's down to the 35 yard line. As they just slide Doctor out into the flat. He catches it. Turns up field. He's a big kid, too. And that'll be a first down. First and 10 from the Sabre 35 yard line. Yeah, you know, right now, Legacy's, you know, not completely selling out for the run, but their noses are up there in the box because they know they have to stop the run. And uh, there's going to be some opportunities in the play action pass game. Ross Fisher runs the play in from head coach Mark Gibson. First and 10 from the Sabre 35. Hanky, the long back, Bridger the up, Bridger Owens the up back. They give it Hanky coming left. Now he just pulls his way straight ahead to the 30 yard line where he's brought down there. And now it seems, uh, Josh, that uh, those guys up front from the Demons got a message from somebody and they're just starting to flex their muscle now. Yeah, you know, the, the one guy who uh, is very happy to see that's head coach Mark Gibson. And historically, they've ran the ball at Bismarck High, and uh, this is his brand of football right now. Well, this is the kind of football that we've seen so many times throughout the years where they just sustain long drives, and that's what they're trying to do now on second and five from the Sabre 30. Henke goes right and good ta good tackle there by Brett Miller as he got through the gap there the linebacker and was able to knock Henke for no well would they no gain to be third and four. Yeah, right now Legacy's got about eight guys within three yards of the line of scrimmage. They know what uh, they know what game they're in right now. This is going to be just a slugfest I see. So here's a third down and four now for the Demons. Hanky back in there. He dots the eye slot to the right. Now they motion the slot right to left. Hanky gets it, comes left. He's got room, cuts inside. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Bismarck High. 29 yards out. Cutter Hanky puts the Demons on the board at the 748 mark. Yeah, that's, you know, that's the, the risk you take when you bring all those guys up to the line of scrimmage because you lose your, your next level defenders. You lose your angles a little bit when you get up that tight. And, uh, if he gets through that first line of defense, you see what happens. Well, you scored from 29 yards out. You come back, you set down the place kicking tee, and you try to make it, try to get all seven points. Snap, hold, kick is up. It appears good, and it is. 7.48 to go. Opening half a play on the BNC Bank scoreboard. The Demon 7, the Sabre 6. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Ohl. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. Well, 29 yard touchdown run by Carter Hankey, the extra point by Hankey, and the Demons lead it 7 0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Yeah, we, we talked earlier about Legacy's first quarter struggles this year. Defensively, they played a pretty good first quarter. Offensively, moved the ball, couldn't get anything in the for points. But to uh, so start the second half, Bismarck High, they, uh, they imposed their will on that drive, to say the least. Yes, they did, as Henke will tee it up. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Prestwich Orthodontics. Specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. We offer free consultations and financing options that make it easy to take your smile to the next level. Call 852-2646 or visit minorbraces.com today to get started with a free virtual consultation, Prestwich Orthodontics. Hanky's going to tee it up at the 40-yard line. Back to receive will be Frank. And that one's going to go into the end zone. There'll be a touchback, and the Sabres will go on offense now, trailing this one 7 0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. 
Tonight's game also brought to you in part by the Pigskin Preview, published by the Printers Incorporated. Get your Pigskin Preview today, 23rd year for this publication. Order online at IndyPigskin.com. Books are $20 each, plus shipping unless you pick up your copy at the printer's office. North Dakota's number one resource for high school and college coaches and players. A must-have for the North Dakota football fans. First down and 10 now for the Sabres. Mitchell's going to keep it going left. Ooh, boy, and he is blown up as he went over that left side and who led the charge there for the demons was that uh, looks like it was uh, looked like it was bridger owens or i think that might have been dj gabriel in there yeah so i guess carter hankey after he scores a touchdown kicks the field goal kicks off they gave him a you know coach gibson gave him a couple plays yeah off you don't there. have to play defense <laughs> Well, they're going to gain a two, so it'll be second down and eight now. Here's Mitchell. Hands off. That's Jama on the carry. Jama across the 25 down to the 26. It's like Bismarck High saying they got the ball. Yusuf Jama. For the Sabres there, a six foot, 170 pound sophomore getting the carry. So it'll be a third down and three now for the Sabres. Clock winds to 6.49 to go here in the opening half of play. 7-0, Bismarck High leads on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Jama stands alongside quarterback Mitchell. Mitchell, he's going to keep it, go straight up the middle and dives across the 30 down to the 31-yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down, so they'll move the chains. Clock will stop as they reset the football and now they wind it. Legacy's seen some success with the quarterback run game so far in this, uh, you know, first two quarters. And how much do you want to do that, though? How many times yeah, do you want how, that guy yeah. getting hit? Uh, but you also got to go with the hot hand, too. So here's Mitchell on first down and 10 from his own 31. Demon show blitz, here they come. And Jama on the carry and... He's not going to go anywhere, as I believe he, you know, they're going to say that you know, he gained about a yard. And we are going to have a Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. Hubbard National Insurance located at 4204 Boulder Ridge Road in Northwest Bismarck. It's 5.57 to go, opening half a play on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Bismarck High 7, Legacy 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Ackerman Estfold is an experienced team of architects and civil engineers committed to achieving the best possible solution for every project. Over the past 20 years, our team has been trusted with jobs big and small throughout the state. From major flood protection projects to county roads, classroom walls, and community spaces. We will be your partner through the initial design to final construction. Trust the Ackerman Estfold team with your next project. Back at the MD Resource Community Bowl, Scott Woodmancy alongside Josh Cattell. Sabres face with a second down and 12. There you can see some Demon fans in the crowd there. Mitchell hands off. Frank coming near side. He gets the outside. 35 cuts back inside, and he's down to the 37-yard line. James Nagel makes a stop there for... The Demons, so to bring up a third down and short, we'll call it three to go. Yeah, good effort there by Nagel running that thing from behind because that thing had a crease if he doesn't get it down. So third down and three for the Sabres from their own 38-yard line. Demons show like they're coming. Now Mitchell wants to change it. Play clock's at eight. Down to four now, Mitchell, he's gonna keep it, goes left, runs by the defenders, 40, and out near the 45, the shy at the 44 to be a first down. So good play there, uh, Josh, by the quarterback, Isaac Mitchell. Yeah, again, quarterback run game, that's a good way to, you know, when you get that pressure, it's a good way to attack that. Got another injured demon down on the field. We'll try to get a number for you there. We can tell you that tonight's game also brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. They have over 25 years of experience as your heating and air experts as a factory authorized dealer for AeroSeal, 
There's no other choice to steal your heating and air game other than Northern Plains Heating and Air. Find them online at northern-plains.com. Also by Minot State University. Be seen, be heard, be you. Minot State University. As Mark Gibson out there is the injured player on the field is Deegan Stottinger. Oh, that's 36. James Nagel. As he gets up, limping gingerly towards the demon sideline. Sabres now will have it first down at 10 with 5.04 left to play here in the opening half a play from the MD Resource Community Bowl. Glad to have you aboard on the PSP network. Mitchell fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, throws it underneath, and it's going to be caught in Demon Territory, 45, 40, and all the way down to the 38-yard line. On the reception there was... That was Sivak. I think that's the first completion of the night for Legacy. Finally right. getting some, uh, you know, the run game, play action off it, getting some guys open in space. Sivak just sat down in the middle of the field. Mitchell found him, and now first down and 10 from the Demon 39-yard line. Mitchell, low snap, fakes the handoff, runs by one defender, but that's going to be about it as he's going to be swarmed under. But we've got our first... Laundry on the field. Mitchell on the carry. Tackle is by Bridget Owens. And, for the and we'll see what the call is. I didn't. Did you see anything, Josh? I didn't see anything there. Yeah, I'm not sure. Came from the lines, Judge, so I'm not sure exactly what that would be. They're declining it anyway, so. False start. F okay, there it is. So a false start penalty was declined, so it'll bring up second down 11. That'll tell you how much confidence Mark Gibson has in his defense there. Yeah, you know, you get them behind the sticks, it's always, you know, it's a 50-50 it's a there. Do you push them back farther, or do you say, hey, let's get off the field, get the offense, the ball back, get it back to the hot hand. Second down and 11 now for Mitchell. Trips to his right. Mitchell, straight drop, now he's flushed. Got to turn up field, spins off one at the 40. And all the way down to the 37 yard line. Schlafman comes back to make the tackle there, the nose guard for the Demons. So it'll bring up a third down and nine for the Sabres. Now you got to wonder what you do with your legacy. Kind of in that four down territory, potentially half, three minutes left in the half. Do you, yeah. do you run it? Do you treat it like a second down because you're going for it on fourth? What do you do here? Here come the Sabres on third down and nine. Mitchell back to pass. They set up the screen pass and it's going to be completed, but for to no avail is Jared Frank and Bridger Owens smelled that one out. And now it'll be fourth down and nine for the Sabres and we'll see what they elect to do here. Yeah, I don't know, you know, this is you got three timeouts left if you're Coach Gibson. Do you use it? You, know, you got them for offense now if you get a stop. If you're Legacy, you want to use as much of the play clock as you can right now. Try not to give Bismarck High anything. Braxton Ruff brings the play in. He goes wide to the right. Mitchell on fourth down and nine. They motion Lucas from right to left. And now Mitchell calls the Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. Contact your local hub agents, Josh Cattell and Michael Borman at 355-3100 for your personal business insurance needs. On the BNC Bank scoreboard, Bismarck High 7, Legacy 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement. You can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you.
Well, quarterback Isaac Mitchell didn't like what he saw there, so he calls a timeout and now goes to the sideline. We'll see what the call is from the sideline. Yeah, you wonder if they got some kind of you know, quarterback punt, pooch kick type situation or if they're actually going to go for it. A little bunch more formation to the right. Mitchell back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He throws it up the left side. It's underthrown and intended for. That was Kupfer, but he couldn't come back to get it. And the Demons were bringing the heat. And the ball's incomplete, and that'll go back to Bismarck High with 2.28 to go here in the opening half of play. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Coach Gibson does here. You know, we talked about it. Uh, you know, they're a pretty run heavy team, but now you got a two minute drill. You got a senior quarterback. You threw the ball a ton a year ago. Yep. Um, well, and not to mention that, he's got three timeouts left with 2.28 to go here in the opening half, and pretty good field position as they're going to start at the at their own 38 yard line first down and 10 as Hanky dots the eye behind quarterback after after rolling out sets he's got a man underneath caught doctor at midfield and out of bounds I've been really impressed with doctor so far in this game another name we talked about a little bit defensively but I think that's his second or third reception now and good hand catch and it's a big target to throw to downfield. Yeah Bennett Lawn on the coverage there for the Sabres pushed him out of bounds and the Demons will have it first and ten from the midfield straight. Clock stops at 221 to go. Doctor coming to this one at seven reception 127 yards and a touchdown already this season for the Demons. Little confusion break in the huddle there for Bismarck High. Yep, now they get upset. Now they get a motion. And Hafter is going to roll to his right. Set, stop, steps up. He's got a man out there. Receiver stopped. It's going to be caught at 10 5 and run down. Ball comes out. And on the reception there, Grady Swanson. That was Grady Swanson, I believe. Yes, it was. As Grady Swanson. Not an easy throw rolling out to his right throwing back across the field to his left good design on that play and uh, great throw and catch right on the money and good it effort. Looked like Swanson stopped didn't it. Yeah it looked like he kind of got confused when the ball was in the air. And like I said that's a weird angle for you know, kind of Willie Mays that thing a little bit. So now that Evans are in the serve pro red zone 24 7 emergency service train technicians advanced technology fine water clamp and restoration. It's serve pro. So first and goal to go from the three. I backfield. Henke dots the eye. Slot to the left of quarterback Quinn Hafner. Henke goes right, cuts inside. Drake's tacklers near the goal line. He's going to be pushed backwards. But they're going to give him a gain of two. So it'll be first and goal to go from the one. Yeah, we started talking about, you know, wondering if he's going to, what they're going to do in a two minute drill. Now we're going to say, hey, let's try to take as much time off the clock as we can so that Legacy doesn't have a chance to do anything when they get the ball back. Tyson Jangula brings the play in. I'm guessing it's going to have something to do with number four with Bridger Owens leading the way. Quarterback sneak over the left side. Touchdown, Hafner from one yard out. And the Demons tack on six more at the 134 mark of quarter number two. Not quite the uh, tush push like they were talking about last night on Thursday night football with the Eagles, but uh, good job by the quarterback finding the crease and getting in the end zone. So Hafner picks up his second rushing touchdown of the season. And Henke on to attempt the extra point. Snap, hold down, kick is up, and the kick is good. A minute 34 to go, opening half a play in the BNC Bank scoreboard. Demons 14, Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Every 10 minutes, three people in the United States will die from a preventable incident. More people are dying on our roadways and in their homes than ever before. But that's where the North Dakota Safety Council can help. Safety is our mission from the workplace to any place. We're a private nonprofit that offers more than 150 training courses that are dynamic, hands-on and effective. From CPR and first aid to driver safety and even workplace violence preparedness, we want to make sure your loved ones come home safe each night. Go to ndsc.org to see how together we can make a difference.
Well, the big pass completion from Hafner to Grady Swanson set up that one yard touchdown run by Quinn Hafner and the Demons lead 14-0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Yeah, you got to be pretty happy right now if you're Coach Gibson. You know, last two times your offense touched the ball, they've driven the length of the field to go score, and now you got 14-0 lead. And when you're the team that runs the ball, that's a good place to be. Hanky to kick it away. And he does, angles it towards the sideline, and it's going to go out of bounds. Flag flies. Reminder, we'll have our Sport Clips intermission report coming up here in about a minute 34. As the Sabres will take over offensively, they trail it. 14-0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. We'll try to get some other scores for you. Across the state. So for Bismarck High here, you got to keep everything in front of you. You cannot get beat deep. Rally, make tackles, keep that clock running. So here's Mitchell on first and ten. They hand nope, they throw they fake the handoff and try to throw a pass. The intended receiver there was Kalen Lucas that's thrown over his head. Yeah, right now Mitchell's just a little rushed with everything he does in the pass game. He's uh, not getting his feet set and being accurate with his passes. So bring up second down and ten for the Sabres. Minute 31 to go. Ball spot on their own 35. Throw a screen. Here's Juleson on the catch, and he's not going to go anywhere. Great open field tackle there by Ross Fisher as Juleson had nowhere to go. Yeah, that was a nice job. You know, the open field tackle, he doesn't make that. There's nobody left, and it's going to be a big gain. So nice job there by uh, Bismarck High. Looks like we got another timeout. Another Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. Minute 15 to play on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Demons 14, Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Oh, here we go. Where? They get it into Doppler up the near side. Three, two seconds. One second, Doppler rises, right wing three, Bingo! Oh Anthony Doppler wins it at the buzzer! Oh Are you kidding me? He turns, he fires, and he buries it! Uh, here we go on third down 11. Mitchell over the left side, and Mitchell is going to be brought down at the original line of scrimmage. Like Bridger Owens again. Nice job. Give you some updates. Shanley over West Fargo Cheyenne, 7-0 with seven minutes to go in the first. Minot High over Century, 17-0. Davies over West Fargo, 7-0. That was Shanley and Cheyenne, I stand corrected. Oops, no, I got... Fargo North and St. Mary's and Williston and Mandan also set to do battle. We got another Hubbard National Insurance timeout. We'll just keep it right here as BNC National Bank with locations throughout North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona. BNC National Bank provides you with banking and wealth management services for your business and family. Visit BNC Bank online today at bnc.bank. Yeah, on that last play, I don't know what exactly happened, but Luke Doctor came up limping a little bit. Looks like some kind of, uh, you know, hip hip or groin injury. He's getting stretched out on the sideline right now. So back to punt it away will be Alex Visca back to receive it for the Demons. That will be Alex Zur. 
as he waits around his own 25 yard line. Visca. Low short kick. Demons got to get away from it. And they do. And it's going to be down at the 33 yard line with one minute to go here in the opening half. Demons leading 14 0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. What do you do here, Josh? You take an ear or do you try to go for more with. You got you've got one timeout left. Well the fact that he called two timeouts on defense makes me think he wants to go get some more points here before the half. And, you know like we said you got a senior quarterback. That's the luxury when you got a veteran back there. You feel confident he's going to make good decisions here. Well we'll see as the Sabres try to keep the demons out of the end zone here as the demons lead it already. Interesting formation as Hafner back to pass looking he steps up does Hafner he's going to run it he's at the 35 and he's brought down there. Yeah, you, there in a, in a one minute left in the half you take an incompletion over that right there just throw it away and let play another day. I like how you said you know Bismarck High gets in the shotgun and all of a sudden it's an interesting formation. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're not used to seeing that. <laughs> now they go back to that traditional demon offense. They give it Hanky coming left, and Hanky's going to be stood up there and making the stop there. That was Connor Lang on the stop there. It looks Cutter like Hanky on the carry, and I believe that's going to be the last play of the half as the Demons heading towards the locker room and so are the Sabres as the clock winds to three seconds, two, one, and that is the end of the opening half here from the MD Resources Community Bowl. On the BNC Bank scoreboard as we go to break, it's Bismarck High 14, Legacy Zero. We'll be back with our Sword Clips intermission report after this timeout on the PSP Network. All right, bring it up, bring it up. <laughs> Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. High right, zoom, spider two, wide banana. You don't like that one? Okay. High right, 40 power. Wow. You don't want that one either? Yes. All right, go kick off. Get out of here. Let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day.
we have the privilege of serving our community by helping businesses and individuals protect what matters most. That's why we're proud to be your locally owned independent insurance agency. As an independent insurance agency, we work with the industry's leading insurance companies and provide our clients a better experience and a better value. For auto, home, business, bonds, life and health insurance, think the Kramer Agency. See us at our new location at 232 West Century. Agency, your Uh, welcome back to uh, the MD Resources Community Bowl as we are at halftime here. Legacy and Bismarck High and homecoming night for the Legacy Sabres. As you can see there, 14-0. The, the four got a little off to the right. Something got jacked up there as the demon. So it is 14-0. And again, welcome to our Sport Clips intermission report. And Josh, boy, I tell you. We went through that first quarter and it looked like this is going to be a battle of uh, two defenses uh, the way that first quarter played out. But then uh, Bismarck High kind of settled in and those guys up front uh, really started to uh, impose their will, let's just say, against Legacy. And now Bismarck High has got a two touchdown lead at the break. Well, yeah, Legacy came out of the gates offensively having a ton of success. Move the ball, flip the field. Um, Credit Bismarck High defensively. They weathered the storm, never gave up any points, got the ball back to their offense, and then all of a sudden those short runs, you know, those two, three yard runs turned into five, six, seven yard runs, and then then we got the big one, and now we're 14 rep. Yeah, and so, you know, legacy, but I, I you know, I, I if you take any positives out of that first half, I think you got to feel pleased with how your offense has moved the ball, but as you just said, it's those situations where you get into third and five and third and four, fourth and four, deep in the whole territory. That's where you've got to be able to finish those drives. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a touchdown, but you got to be able to pick up that first down to keep those drives sustained and, and the opportunity to get into the end zone. Yeah, those are the most crucial downs where you have to ex execute. And unfortunately right now, legacy is just one dimensional. They do not have a pass game whatsoever and, and part of that credit Bismarck High they've done a good job defensively but uh, you know you got to be able to throw the ball a little bit here if you're Bismarck legacy to get back in this one well yeah and then you look at Bismarck High when you talked about you know we talked about coming into this one you know they averaged 165 yards on the ground 100, um, 100 160 through the air for three about 325 yards of total offense so as you talked you mentioned in the pregame that they've kind of been a, they've had a good run pass balance and I think we saw a little bit more of that in that uh, second quarter there when, when Mark Gibson said, all right, well, you know, Legacy's putting eight, nine guys in the box. And they said, okay, well, here here, here it comes. And, it, and, and there it went. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, I don't know that they've just straight dropped back on any of those. So they've been no. play action. They've been the run action and get the quarterback out of the pocket type of situation. And, um, but that also, you can do that when you run the ball effectively. And Bismarck High, you know, their first touchdown drive, they ran it the length of the field. The next one, they come back in a kind of a two-minute situation and complete two, three long passes downfield and set up an easy score for, for the QB sneak. Well, as Bismarck High leads at 14-0 here at the break, let's update you on uh, the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Other scores are going on on the uh, AAA side of things. Uh, Mandan up in Williston to take on the Coyotes. They lead 14-0 at the end of the first period. Four minutes left in the first. Shanley and West Fargo Shan, number one and number two uh, in a battle there as they lead 7-0 to Shanley. Fargo North with 11 minutes left in the second. They lead uh, St. Mary's 14 to zero. And uh, two minutes left in the second up at the Sanford Sports Complex. Minot High over Century 17-0. And Fargo Davies uh, leading West Fargo with about a minute left in the first there by a score of nine to nothing. And that's on the AAA side, on the AA side. Ooh, South and Devils Lake. Uh, that one was early today. That one ended up 70 to six. Fargo South winning that one. Valley City uh, trails Dickinson or trails Dickinson 6-0. Dickinson the number five in the most recent poll. Valley City receiving votes. Jamestown the number four team leads Watford City 12-0. Grand Forks Red River a battle of uh, the Riders and the Knights. Uh, they're tied at six at the end of one and. Uh, 
that's all we can update you on so far. We're at halftime here uh, from the MB Resource Community Bowl as we are uh, Sport Clips Intermission Report rolls on with more. Demons lead at 14 7. Back with more after this time out on the PSP Network. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. An injury can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It's not really something you can schedule on your calendar. But when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. An injury can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It's not really something you can schedule on your calendar. But when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... To like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Well, welcome back to the MD Resources Community Bowl. Scott, uh, Scott Woodmancy and Josh Cattell with you as Sabres have made their way back out on the field here on homecoming night. Uh, smoky Friday night. Uh, otherwise, the wind's gone down a little bit. Uh, nice night. So I think that wind was a little help with the smoke, but uh, now it's settling in a little bit. And uh, hopefully uh, that gets makes its way out of here by tomorrow morning. Or as, uh, boy, it's been an ongoing process this summer with what's going on in Canada. But uh, let's take a look at uh, the score scoring drives uh, in that opening half as in that first quarter we said there was no score uh, as it was a defensive battle a quick uh, first quarter of play there and then the scoring started at the 748 mark of quarter number two where Hanky from 29 yards out ran it in the extra point by Hanky was good and the Demons led 7-0 and then at the 134 mark 
of the second quarter. It was Quinn Hafner from one yard out, and that was set up by that big pass completion from Hafner to Grady Swanson. And then uh, Hafner took it over on the sneak over the left side from one yard out. Extra point was good by Hinky, and that's where we stand 14 0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. And Bismarck High, like they always do, we've seen it so many times, Josh, throughout the years, the number of years we've been doing this, is that if they win the toss, they like to defer, and then they come out, and then they put together one of those long 13, 12, 13 play drives and just wear you down, march you down the field, put it in the end zone. And so, in my mind, I think that this opening drive for the second half is real, real key for the legacy Sabres if they want to hang around in this football game. Without a doubt. And you know, the old Belichick theory, right? You, you defer, you try to score at the end of the half, and then you get the ball right back to start the second half. And that can be a huge momentum swing. And, uh, you said it best. Yeah, Legacy's got to get a stop here to start this half if they want to stay in the fight. Yeah, I, I, I think they do. And, you know, when you look at it from the, let's put your football hat on, Josh, I mean, what, from the Legacy side of things, what adjustments do you think they need to make? Uh, I, I, you know, I thought defensively the first quarter they played really good. It was just that second quarter where Bismarck High finally started to figure them out. Yeah, you know, the big thing is you, you're going to give up some runs. You're going to give up some first downs. You can't give up the big one. And then your secondary, it's a tough task right now because you're, you're devoting a lot to the, to the line of scrimmage and stopping the run. Those guys got to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups in, in the pass game. And if they can do that, um, Bismarck High will have some trouble moving the ball. Well, we want to thank you for turning in to our Sport Clips uh, intermission report. Sport Clips will keep you looking your best. Check it out online with the hairstyles today at sportclips.com. Two locations here in the capital city. Also one up in the Magic City, uh, Sport Clips. I want to thank them for being a sponsor of North Dakota High School Sports on the PSP Network. Again, you can catch Dick Holberg with a call. There's Johnny Haugen giving you a shot of the fans in attendance here tonight. Pretty good contingent of Demon fans, a good contingent of Legacy Sabre fans across the way. As also Minot High and Century on the PSP network. Minot High leading that one at last report. And if you're Coach Gibson here, I, I, you just do what's worked, right? You, you make them stop it, and then, then you make an adjustment. Right now, they are in control of this game if they just do what's worked in the first half. Well, and uh, it's worked pretty good for them as the Demons will come out as the Sabres will get set to kick it away. Reese Snow is going to kick it away. Back to receive for the Demons. That is Jaron McNichols and Aiden Kincher, I believe. McNichols on the far side. And it's going to be McNichols from his 11 yard line. Angle in the near side, 15, 20. He's got root 30. Look out, 40, 45 midfield. Snow, the only man, beats him with the 40, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, McNichols. From his 11 yard line. That was a, a very well executed return by Bismarck High there. They had the return going to the left. The ball was er, to their left. The ball was kicked deep right. And Legacy just got, you know, got parted. And great return by McNichols. A good burst to beat the kicker at the end. Well, and McNichols, uh, outstanding track athlete. He was first in the 300 meter hurdles, fourth in the 100 meter dash. And boy, he turned the Jets on there. And he took it up the near sideline all the way to the house. And just like that, oh, they fumbled a snap as they try to make something out of nothing. They throw it into the end zone, and was it? Nope, and the, t and the botch extra point is no good. So just like that, 11.47 to go, quarter number three, Demons 20, Sabres zero, back after this timeout on the PSP Network.
Papa Sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Well, an 89-yard kickoff return by Jaron McNichols has given the Demons a 20-0 lead over the Sabres with 11.47 to play here in quarter number three. And Josh, we talked about it, not what head coach Chris Clements wanted to see there coming out of halftime. No, this task for Legacy just got a lot harder and um, probably the urgency on offense to, to throw the ball a little more just picked up as well. Hanky to kick it away. Frank on the return. He's at the 25, 30, and he's brought down at the 32 yard line. Ooh, a little extra cricket activity going on out up around the 40 yard line. Takes it out to the 32 yard line. So they'll spot it first and 10 from the 32 yard line. Reminder, we'll have our Planning Team Financial Advisor Shots Crossroads post game report coming up. Planning Team Financial Advisors helping clients work toward financial freedom and Shots Crossroads, your post game headquarters. Order online at shotscrossroads.com. So here come the Sabres on their first offensive possession of the second half with Mitchell handing off coming near side. That's Frank and ooh, Frank is just blown up right there on the stick that was Connor Harbison making the stop there for the Demons and a quick fill there of the gap by Harbison. He's been impressive. You, 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 you see quickly why he's the one junior on the starting defense. He is physical and he is not afraid to stick his nose in there. So they're going to give him a gain of one to Jared Frank. It'll be second down and nine now for the Sabres. Mitchell receiver split left and right slot to his right as well. Mitchell. Claps his hands. Frank coming right. Turns up field and he's going to be out to the 38 yard line. Will be Jared Frank and they're going to spot it there. So to bring up a third down. Uh, we'll call it five to go for the Sabres with 1047 to go. Quarter number three. Yeah, good job by the, uh, the Bismarck high front eight here to the front seven I should say just you know giving up a little but getting it to the ground when contacts made. So here we go on third down and four. Mitchell throws to the sideline and was it caught. They're going to say yeah it was Lucas on the reception but I don't know if he's got enough he's going to be just shy of the first down so this would be a big roll the dice call here for head coach Chris Clements as it's going to be fourth down and they're going to call it two. It looks more like fourth and one to me. Yeah I think it's you got to go. Oh. Well, yeah, and now he's going to punt it away. So now they got to get the punt team on. And going back to receive that will be Zer. That almost got blocked. Yeah. Good punt there. Zer at the 21 near sideline 30 and he's ripped out of bounds at the 35 yard line goes Alex Zer, the 145 pound junior from Bismarck High and now the Demons will have it again after the three and out uh, by the Sabres. Yeah legacy held up throwing the punt team out there till pretty late in the play clock and that caused a lot of confusion from both sides there. <laughs> Legacy lucky to get it off and Bismarck High just lucky to get it back. So the Demons now on first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. Hafner goes under center. Hanky dots the eye. They give it to Owens. Owens got room right straight up the middle across the 40 out to the 42 yard line goes the fullback Bridger Owens 5'11 190 pound senior. You know those fullbacks love that you know they do a lot of the dirty work and when you get the ball you know once in a while you got to give those guys a little love <laughs> and uh, it's a good start to this drive. Well, that's one thing the demons like to do is they really like to use that fullback a lot in the run game so it'll be second down and four to go. Hafner they motion. Toss it, Hanky stutter steps, gets the outside, turns up field, 45 midfield, puts his head down, and he's going to be out near the Saber 45 yard line. They're going to spot it at the 46, but that'll be another Demon first down. Move the chains, and the Demons are on the move inside Saber territory. 
Yeah, and Legacy's got to find something to get some positive momentum going back on their sideline. Real dead over there. The defense, not a ton of energy right now. They got to find a way to get out of this funk. First down and 10 now for the Demons. And what would we have there? Official timeout, but I think that has. Yeah, we're just trying to get DJ right on the chains down there. <laughs> oh, like. yeah, that is DJ running yeah, the yeah. show down there. Slowing it down. First and 10 now as Hafner under center. Oh, that's going to be encroachment against the Sabres. And you know, Josh, those are the kinds of things I'm sure as a head coach that drive you crazy, particularly when you're three games into the season. You can, you can, correct me if I'm wrong, you can probably live with one or two of those in game number one, but this time of the year, you can't be making those mistakes. Without a doubt. You know, the, the ones you can live with are the holding, the effort ones, the pass interferences, the pre snap, self inflicted <laughs> wounds. Those will get you every time. So now it'll be a first and five now for the Demons. Ball spotted at the 41-yard line. Hafner goes under center. Hafner, straight drop. Look, looks down the right side. He's got a man out there. On, oh, Austin dropped it at the 15-yard line. Yeah, had it in his yes, hands. Yes, he did. That's a good throw. And does a good job of high-pointing it. Gets a chance, but good defense, too. Nice job by, it looks like, number 16. Yeah, that there. was uh, Jaden Esslinger on the coverage there for the Sabres, but you know, when you're in a first and five, Josh, you can do those kinds of things. Yeah, it's a good shot down. <laughs> Honestly, second and five isn't a bad <laughs> shot down either. I don't, I think Gibson's gonna run the ball here though, just stay in front of the chains. Second down and five now for the Demons. Little misdirection play there, and on the, re on the carry there was Harbison out of the slot position. Looked like a little old school cross buck that was in every junior high playbook. <laughs> Coach Gibson bringing it back. I like it. Well, he used to run that play quite a bit uh, back in the day, but uh, first time we saw it here tonight. So now it'll be a third down. Oh, they're going to say no gain. So third down and five now for the Demons. They lead 20 0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. 7.39 to go. Third quarter of play here. Hafner's going to run it. He's going to try to get to the edge. Now he turns up field, and he's going to have the first down across the 35 down to the 34. Goes Quinn Hafner. He gets up a little gingerly, so they move the change. Tonight's game brought to you in part by the UPS store located at South Broadway and Minot. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 7, and Saturday, 830 to 3. The UPS store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza for all your packing and shipping needs, and also to Jersey Mike's. Make sure to vote for this week's Jersey Mike's Player of the Week on the PSP Network Facebook page. Jersey Mike's is a sub above. First and 10 now for the Demons from the 34-yard line. Hanky, he's got blockers, and Hanky now gets to the edge. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Cutter Hanky from 34 yards out. Oh, big Jack Schaefer displaced the entire left side of the defensive <laughs> line on that play. That was an unbelievable job by the offensive line on the left side there. A lot of movement made it pretty easy for uh, the running well, back And there. what a great job, though, by Hanky setting that whole thing up. He let everybody get out in front of him. He found it, got to the edge, and just turned on the Jets, and away he went. Yeah, patience, good patience there. And Good burst, too. Hankey on for the extra point. Snap, hold, kick up, and the kick is good. 6.57 to go. Third quarter play on the BNC Bank scoreboard. The Demons 27, the Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Bank Bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. Well, a 34-yard touchdown run by Carter Hankey, his second of the night. 
and the demons are starting to well, I already have blown this one wide open as they lead 27-0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard and the Sabres are in dire need of a offensive drive. Hanky to kick it away. Low lining kick, it's gonna go out of bounds. Flag comes up. And so the Sabres will have it offensively. Pretty good field position. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Roger Ward Moving and Storage. They've probably been helping the region with their moving and storage needs. Since 1942, find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com to schedule a move or find a quote. Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Reminder, we'll also have our Sport Clips MVP of the game and our Jobbers Moving and Storage move of the game as here come the Sabres on first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. Mitchell Frank the lone back hands off Frank coming right breaks one tackle he's out the 40 out to the 42 yard line. Mozoff comes up to make the stop from a strong safety spot so good gain there it'll be second and manageable for the Sabres. Yeah, right now you're Bismarck High. You just, you bend, you don't break. You rally, you tackle, you get them to the ground, keep everything in front of you. Uh, make legacy, earn everything, and just let that clock continue to tick. Second down and three now for the Sabres. Mitchell fakes to Frank. They throw it out in the flat, overthrow on the intended receiver was Kalen Lucas. A little high for his 5'8 frame. So that ought to bring up third down and three now for. Again, the pass rush by Tyson Jangula. I mean, he was well, there him, right now. You know, him and Doctor. I mean, look at the size. Look at the size of Doctor. Boy, he's a big, strong, physical kid. Yeah. And he's been sitting in D-line <laughs> meetings since he was, you know, <laughs> yeah. knee high with his old man. Yeah. Father played for the North Dakota State Bison. Frank going left, turns it upfield. Uh, oh, breaks free at the 45, and he's out near the midfield stripe. He's got enough for a first down, so they'll move the change. Good run there by Jared Frank. You know, in, in between the 20s, Legacy has been very good tonight. They've ran the ball, they've moved the chains. Now we just need him to sustain a drive all the way to the goal line, get, get some points on the board here for some, some positive reinforcement for the rest of this game. Six minute. Yeah, and we're going to have a Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. Hubbard Nat Hub is the leading North American insurance brokerage. 5.58 to go, quarter number three. The Demons 27, the Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, points, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot. Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. First and 10 now for the Sabres. Here comes Frank. Nope, Mitchell keeps it. He breaks a tackle and he's at the 50. He rolls into Demon territory at the 49. Hanky there on the stop for the Demons. Man, you can't say enough about Carter Hanky so far tonight. I mean, offensively, defensively, special teams. Uh, that was a, a quick trigger on the run game and a sure tackle for a two yard gain. Second out and eight now for. The Sabres, 5-19 left to go here in quarter number three. Isaac Mitchell, Demon Show Blitz, here they come. Frank, oh, and Bridger Owens just blew the gap and blew up Jared Frank. Yeah, some of those uh, broken tackles we saw earlier in the game are 
not happening right now for Legacy, and, and that's a good sure tackle in the hole there by uh, Bridger Owens. Give you an update, uh, Shanley and Cheyenne, 14-7, five minutes left in the second there. North leads 17-7 over St. Mary's. Mandan up, still up 14-0. And I believe some of these have got to be into the second. But we'll update you at the conclusion of this one. Third down and 10 now, four. Here's Mitchell rolling left. He's under pressure and he's gonna go back down at the 45. Nice and and that, that was Jangula again, coming from that right defensive end spot. Man, I've just been impressed with this burst off the ball. That ball gets snapped, and he's—it's like he's a sprinter in the in a in the blocks getting <laughs> off of there. I mean, he is in the backfield right now. So now it'll be fourth and thirteen, and oh, they appear they're going to go for it on fourth and thirteen. Chris Clement says, "Why not?" Now Mark Gibson's got to take a Hubbard National Insurance timeout. We'll take one as well. 3.57 to go, quarter number three of the Mainstream Bank scoreboard. It's the Demons 27, the Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. All tonight's game brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. They have over 25 years of experience as your heating and air experts. As a factory authorized dealer for Aero Seal, there's no other choice to see your heating and air game other than Northern Plains Heating and Air. Oh, a little pooch kick. Mitchell, good high kick there. Oh, that's going to take a legacy bounce. Is that going to get it in the end zone? Yeah, it is, as they couldn't track it down. Kupfer couldn't get to it. So they'll bring this one out. And that's where the Demons... We'll start. You can find Northern Plains Heating and Air. You find them online at northernheavenplains.com and also Prestwich Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. We offer free consultations and financing options that make it easy to take your smile to the next level. Call them at 852 2646 or visit mineupbraces.com today to get started with a free virtual consultation. That's Prestwich Orthodontics. Here come the Demons on first and 10 from their own 25 yard line, leading this one 27-0 on a BNC Bank scoreboard. Sabres show blitz, now they back it off. Here comes, that's Mozoff on the carry over the left side. <laughs> he didn't think he went down as he gets it out to the 25 yard line. So a gain of five there. They'll be second down and five now. Oh, they're gonna spot it to 26. Just a ton of movement up front right now. This uh, Bismarck high O-line is, is it's wearing down this legacy defense. So second down and four now for the Demons from the 26. I backfield behind quarterback Quinn Hafner. Hafner, handoff. No, that's Mozoff. Mozoff over the right side. Brett Miller making the stop there for the Sabres. Yeah, nice play in the hole there by Brett Miller. Patient, let it develop, filled the gap as he got, uh, as he read it out and made a sure tackle in the hole. So third down and three for the Demons. Clock continues to drip down to 2.45 to go, quarter number three. What a fast game this has been. Well, that's what happens when you run the football. That's what we <laughs> talked about. That's exactly right. And I'm guessing we might see it again here on third and three. Maybe a little play action. Yep. yep, there it is as Hafter gets out in the pocket, throws underneath, caught, turning up field 30, 35, 40, and run out of bounds there for the Demons. That was Bridger Owens out of the backfield. So the fullback says, I can run it, coach. I can catch it, coach, and move the chains. It's first and 10 from the Demon 42-yard line. Yeah, really impressed. You know, Bismarck High understands their identity, and they have – just stuck with the game plan, whether it's running, play action, get it to your athletes in space, and then be physical in the box when you get your opportunities. And 
Oh, I've been very impressed with this uh, Demons offense tonight. So first and ten now for the Demons. Coming left, Mozov cuts back inside across the 45 out to the 47-yard line. You know, pretty good luxury to run behind that left side of the old line. With, <laughs> you know, you got Big Jack, you got Raiden Wolf. Um, there's a lot of beef on this. Uh, yeah, yeah there, there's the yeah you got. You know, uh, Harold Stead at 5'11", 300 pounds. Here we go now on second down and five. Handoff and that goes to Mozov. Slips a tackle, dives forward across the 50, but they're going to say he's down there. <laughs> so now you're getting, you know, defensively this is a tough down because you got to defend the run, you know, the, the quick pass game, the play. You got the whole playbook right now if you're Bismarck High. Being successful on first and second down is so important. So third down and two. Minute 15 to play. Play clock down to seven again. Hafner, eye backfield, the handoff coming left. mozov has got room, 45, 40, 35, puts his head down, initiates the contact, and he's all the way down to the 30-yard line, making the stop there for the Sabres on defense was Braxton Ruff as he took a blow there from Mozov. Nice job. Braden Wolf pulls, gets out there, makes the key block on the perimeter to spring that thing, and another big run for Bismarck High. So the Demons now have it first and 10 from the Sabre 29 yard line. Hafner sets him down. Mozov dots the eye. Here comes Mozov left again. Cuts back inside 20. Fights his way down and he's going to be brought down at the 14 yard line. What a good run there by Mozov as he set the blockers up cut back and plunged forward to pick up another first down and they are inside the Sir Pro red zone 24 7 emergency service train technicians advanced technology fire and water cleanup and restoration it's serve pro what a performance right now by this offensive line I mean ever since the second quarter started they have took control of this game this will be the final play of quarter number three is Hafner sets him down there's Mozov going right, cuts back inside, slips a tackle, spins at the 10, and falls forward towards the 5. He's going to be marked down at the 8-yard line. And that's going to end the third quarter of play on the BNC Bank scoreboard as we go to quarter number 4. The Demons 27, the Sabres 0. Demons knocking on the door. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network or your home across the town or across the country we know it can be stressful to ensure your possessions arrive on time intact and on budget make your move with jobbers moving and storage jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move with our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule with locations in bismarck fargo minot and aberdeen jobbers moving and storage is your choice visit jobberswarehouse.com it's jobbers moving and storage all right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. High right, zoom, spider two, wide banana. You don't like that one, okay. I right, 40 power. No. Don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Well, tonight's game brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. We've already talked about them a couple of times. Uh, they have over 25 years of experience as your heating and air experts as the factory authorized dealer for AeroSeal. There's no other choice to seal your heating and air game other than Northern Plains Heating and Air. Find them online at northern-plains.com. Here are the Demons in the Sir Pro Red Zone. <laughs> Rolling out, they throw it underneath Doctor. He turns up field into the end zone. Luke Doctor from eight yards out and tack on six more for the Demons. Uh, nice job. Good execution, good throw, good catch. You, you have that much success in the run game. It's the, 
just a matter of time before those play action passes spring open. A six yard touchdown pass from Hafner to Doctor. Snap, hold Hanky on for the extra point. Extra point up, it appears good. And it is 11.33 to go in the ball game on the BNC Bank score where the Demons 34, Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. But Simon, what about mold? Agent Marlon Old. He holds the world record for fastest mold remediation. Well, the Bismarck Demons have tacked on another, this time through the air on a six yard touchdown pass from Hafter to Doctor. And now, the Demons lead at 34 to 0 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Hanky to kick it away. He's I can hardly see the football, Josh. I know. Here's Frank from his 5, 10, 15. Angling, uh, nope, to no avail. Now turns back upfield and he's brought down at the 20 yard line. And we are in a situation now where the clock will run. You know, Bismarck High has been good at every phase tonight. You know, offense, defense, special team. We just see another kickoff cover. You know, there's nowhere to go for legacy. And uh, can't talk enough about what Coach Gibson and his staff have done to, to bring this program back. Here's Mitchell. Trips to his left. Fakes the handoff. Keeps it. Runs up. He's got room. He's at the 25. And he's going to be brought down at the 27-yard line. Big Swanson in there with the tackle. Got a, some new names in there, new numbers. Got to get our spotter going here. Yep, big number 64. <laughs> we probably need to turn the light on is what we probably need to do. Big number 64, Mateo Silk checks in the ball game at that nose guard spot. Number 67 in there. Drevin Garner in as well. Here's Mitchell, fakes the hand. Oh, he gives it to Lang and Lang over the right side across the 35 out to the 36 yard line. Goes, I think there might be another switch there too, Josh. That'd be enough for a first down. They'll move the chains, clock winds at 10 and a half. No, well, maybe they don't, maybe they don't work. Well, that should be good enough as we'll have enough flight to get through this one. Lang over the right side, breaking tackles, 40, and he's out to the 41 yard line. Connor Lang. So to bring up second down and five. Jumpers moving towards they focus on the details of the process without ever losing sight of the big picture. Their efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management keeps everyone on the same page. Location in the Bismarck Mine at Fargo and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. Second down and five for the Sabres. Mitchell back to pass. Ooh, that one fluttered in the air. And did he catch it? He did. He caught it at the 39. Juleson, good concentration there as he was hit hard after the catch. Yeah, there's uh, the, haven't seen a lot of completions right now for Legacy. It was good to see the ball get downfield. Uh, good reaction, good 
adjustment to the ball by the receiver there. So the Sabres now have it in Demon territory, first and 10 from the Demon 39 yard line. Lang coming left, cuts inside, breaks and tackles across the 35, and Lang down to the 30 yard line. Good hard run there by Lang. Yeah, getting some movement up front. Backs are running hard. I mean, the backs have ran hard all night for Legacy. Um, just hasn't been enough. Eight twenty-five to go. As we said, it is a running clock. As the Sabers trying to punch one in the end zone. Jama on the carry. Yusuf picks up some positive yards there for the Sabers. Stottinger, Deegan Stottinger on the stop there. So it'll be first and ten for the Sabers from the Demon twenty-seven yard line. Mitchell, he's got receivers left and right, hands off. There's Jama again, right straight up the middle, 20, and he's all the way down to the 15-yard line. You know, we haven't seen him in space a whole lot tonight, but he has got some ability when he gets yeah, he out does. there running. Elusive in the pot, in the tight spaces. Well, and he was slow in getting up there. Ooh, I think he's got, yep, I think he's gonna have to come out. He appears to be concuss tonight's game brought to you in part by Jersey Mike's make sure to vote for this week's Jersey Mike's player of the week on the PSP network Facebook page Jersey Mike's is a sub above and also the UPS store located on the South Broadway in Minot they're open Monday through Friday 837 and Saturday 830 to 3 UPS store located in Marketplace Foods Plaza for all your packing and shipping needs that's the UPS store well they tend to Yusuf Jama as he got up and I think he was wobbling a little bit and then so now they've got the trainer out there visiting with him as now they walk him off the field and going off pretty gingerly second to be a second down and two as Legacy now for the first time inside the Serve Pro Red Zone. Serve Pro 24 7 emergency service, trained technicians, advanced technology, fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's Serve Pro. Second down and two. Mitchell, low snap, hands off Lang. Lang over the right side. He's at the 10, the 5, Lang towards the pylon, and he's knocked down there. So it'll be first and goal to go. And Another big hit by Stottinger there. So the Sabres are knocking on the door. First and goal to go for the th from the three as see if the second unit on the Demons defense can hold the Sabres out of the end zone. Defense is always now Mitchell goes under center. I backfield behind him. The handoff Lang over the left side, bounces off one tackle, fights to the goal line, and he's going to be brought backwards as there was a host of demons there. A lot of maroon helmets around the football, and you like to see that if you're Coach Gibson, especially with your, you know, second string, third string guys and still doing what you're teaching the top guys to do. That's a good sign. So now it'll be second down and goal to go for the one. 6.05 left to go here in the ball game. 34-0. And now what are we going to have here? Six minutes. Yep, we're going to have a Hubbard National Insurance timeout on the field. Call Hubbard National Insurance today for all your personal business insurance needs. 5.58 to go on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Demons 34, Sabres 0. Back after this timeout on the PSP Network. We look forward to serving you 
here at your local community bank. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously. Because authentic ingredients make a sub above. First and goal to go, ball handed off to Lang over the right side. I don't think he got in. He did not. So it'll be second down and goal to go. Starting her again. I'm sorry, third down and goal from the one yard line. Yeah, this is a, you know, if you're a coach, you love these situations. If you're Coach Gibson, your young guys are out there getting a chance to to, to, yep. to do it, you know, in a live action scenario. Let's see if they can get a stop. Third down and goal to go from the one. Mitchell goes under center, motions Lucas left to right. And uh, Mitchell rolling out, throws him underneath. It's going to be caught and struck immediately. On the stop there for the Demons, that was Grady Swanson. They say it was a fumble. Uh, I think they said he was down. Okay. So now it'll be fourth down and goal to go for the Sabres. And that second unit or that demon defense is a little fired up on that play as they, they want to throw a shutout tonight. Oh, yeah. You see the pride over there. You like it when the young guys are stepping up. But, you know, Look the at other all the side. demons huddled a bunched up here as. Uh, they want to see the shutout. Mitchell goes under center. Lang dots the eye behind him. Mitchell, they toss Lang. Lang butts inside towards the goal line. And did he get in? I believe he did. And Connor Lang goes in from one yard out and gets legacy on the scoreboard at the 421 mark. Yeah, great effort by Bismarck High there. Just, uh, you know, legacy executes, gets the one yard run and gets on the scoreboard. Here's Snow on to attempt the extra point. Snap, hold, kick is up. It appears good. And it is. So, 421 to go in the ball game on the BNC Bank scoreboard. It's Bismarck High 34, Legacy 7. Back after this timeout right here on the PSP Network. We have the privilege of serving our community by helping businesses and individuals protect what matters most. That's why we're proud to be your locally owned independent insurance agency. As an independent insurance agency, we work with the industry's leading insurance companies and provide our clients a better experience and a better value. For auto, home, business, bonds, life and health insurance, think the Kramer Agency. See us at our new location at 232 West Century. Agency, your For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. Well, the Sabres get on the board with a one-yard touchdown run by Connor Lang, the junior, and now they will kick it back to the Demons, trailing this one 34 to seven with 4.21 to go here in the fourth quarter. Give you an update, a couple of updates here. Shanley over Cheyenne, 2014. That's end of the first half. There's a little pooch kick, and it's going to be received 10, 15, 20, near sideline, 25, and run out of bounds there. On the return for the Demons, that was Zur. Up in Williston. Oh, boy, end of the first half. Mandan 14, Williston 12. Davies leads West Fargo 17 to 8. North over St. Mary 17 7. <laughs> and I don't, oh, Minot, 11 minutes to go in the fourth. Minot shutting out Century 24 to nothing. 
And we have a new quarterback yeah. in there. I believe we do for the Demons. Number eight. That's yep. Swanson. That's. Yep. Grady Swanson now in at quarterback. Yeah, if you're Coach Gibson here, what you want is one last possession of a game. Good four minute drive, move the ball, be able to run it, keep the clock going, and uh, get out of here with the victory. 347, the clock winds down to. Swanson hands off over the left side on the carry there. That was, I believe, Logan Doctor on the carry there for the Demons. Well, these young guys, uh, Easton Egeberg, a little pancake block out there for the Bismarck High Demons. He's all jacked up in the huddle. 3.13 to go. as we'll try to grab an interview with you with head coach Mark Gibson, barring his team can hang on here. Swanson back to pass, slant pattern, and he threw it behind the intended receiver there. <laughs> that pass was intended for Lucas, Lucas McNichols, falls incomplete. Clock stops with 2.50 to go. Back to receive the punt for the Sabres. That's Braxton Ruff. And Hanke to punt it away for the Demons. Good kick there. Wow, that takes a demon roll. And that's going to go all the way down to the eight yard line. What a punt there by Cutter Hankey. And now the Sabres are pinned deep in their own territory with just 240 to go in the ball game. What can't Hankey do? What can't <laughs> that guy do tonight? I mean, he's punting it, he's field goals, kickoffs. Yeah, he, he does it all for the Demons and plays a little defense and I, I think they've got him listed at linebacker and do but he hadn't I don't think he's played a whole lot of defense tonight for uh, the demons 34 7 the score on the BNC Bank scoreboard handoff goes to Lang you know if your legacy there is there's there's a handful of positives throughout the course of this game you know especially early they got some stops they moved the ball um, you know it goes back to that consistency though they got to find a way to score be more consistent on offense and defense handoff over the right side Minute 56 to play. Mitchell goes under center, throws it on the far side. He's got a man out there. It's going to be picked off at the 40, back 30, 30, 25, 20, 15. And run out of bounds there on the interception was Bonley, Hayden Bonley. And that'll give the Demons good field position there. Nice job by Hayden, just playing center field there. And ball was floated up to the sideline. He covered a lot of ground, made a good catch. And here is Bismarck High has an opportunity to end this thing. Yeah, Bismarck High now can take a couple of knees here and it appears that's exactly what they're gonna do. Uh, 
And there's one knee right there. Couple more and that should about do it. Minute 10. As now Swanson goes up to the line of scrimmage. To, let's see, snaps and takes a knee. And that should about do it as, nope, they gotta run it one more time. Do the demons. 27 on the play clock, 34 on the game clock, and <laughs> they both go to their respective sidelines, and that's going to about do it. Uh, as Bismarck High is going to go on and win this one here tonight by a score of 34 to 7 over the Legacy Sabres on homecoming night for Legacy. Four seconds. And there is your final score as on homecoming, the Legacy Sabres are defeated. The Demons come in and knock them off by a score of 34 to seven on the BNC Bank scoreboard. As when we come back, we'll have our planning team financial advisors shots crossroads post game report after this time out on the PSP network. Your business or your home across the town or across the country we know it can be stressful to ensure your possessions arrive on time intact and on budget make your move with jobbers moving and storage jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move with our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule with locations in bismarck fargo minot and aberdeen jobbers moving and storage is your choice visit jobberswarehouse.com it's jobbers moving and storage on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs> Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick! What's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off! Seven, pressure, points, yeah! It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot! Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. 
Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. At Shots Crossroads, we make eight gallons of homemade ranch dressing every day so you can smother your dinner salad with it. Dip those crispy golden french fries in it and dunk your breaded chicken strips. You can even cover your... Wait, no, no. You can't put ranch on steak. Or can you? Shots Crossroads. Don't forget the ranch. All right, welcome back to our planning team, financial advisor, Shots Crossroads post game report. Uh, coach, I tell you what, that first quarter, uh, it looked like it was going to be a defensive battle, but then I thought in the second quarter, you, you guys figured them out a little bit up and up up front, and you guys just imposed their will in that second quarter. Well, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, they came in, and we talked, tried to tell our kids about this that they're going to come in with nothing to lose, and you know, this is a big game for them, and. Big game for us. Sometimes you got high school kids checking out scores and, and looking into other stuff they shouldn't be. And as much as you preach it, they it goes in one ear out the other. But hopefully we learn some things tonight. But uh, I couldn't be any more proud of our kids and the effort. And uh, you know that's the one thing we've noticed is just the resiliency of these kids. That uh, you know sometimes in the past we've kind of laid down on some things like that, and these kids responded really well tonight. Gibby, talk about the progress of this team right now. I know it's early in the season and, you know, obviously having, you know, a lot of these kids experienced last year and just how much that they've grown to this point right now. And now, as you said, they kind of starting to get this thing turned back around the, the direction that you're used to it going. Yeah, I mean, it's a couple things that, that we're used to doing is playing good defense and running the football. And those things have been gone on our program the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, you got to credit our off-season coaches and Coach Fuller and Coach Kelly that, uh, you know, a lot of weight room stuff that these guys got after, and we kind of went to a different model and couldn't be more proud of the kids and the effort they put in the summer. Well, I'll tell you what, too, and then you, you look at that, you know, Carter Hankey and, and even you get Moe's off running back behind there. But I'll tell you what, when you got guys up front like that, I thought your offensive line played an exceptional football game tonight. Yeah, they, they're coming, and we're gelling. I mean, we're getting there. There's still some three young guys in that, that group. Uh, you know, actually four young guys, and so the nice thing is those guys are all coming back. And you know, I just I just thought we came out real flat today, but responded real well. And you know, the halftime we talked about two different games, and the third quarter we kind of took over. Yeah, you did. Well, congrats, man. Enjoy this one, and on to next week. It's good to see you guys for finally. Hey, you too, buddy. We'll bring Carter Hankey in here real quick. Carter, hey, congratulations, man. A nice win tonight. Thank you. Hey, you know, talk about you were part of this team last year and, and, and just what you guys went through. And how, is, how have you seen it from the player perspective, how this team is starting to take strides now where you guys are at early in the season? Uh, well, we're way more developed. Uh, last year we were physically, we got dominated. We started hitting weights this summer, got big. Everyone's going up in weight. We're moving weight around, just being more physical. How nice is it to run behind the guys that you got up front, particularly when you got the big fella in Schaefer, but but all those guys, I just talked to Coach and I said, I really thought that off your offensive line in that second quarter said, all right, enough of this, and really stepped up and just opened up some lanes for you. Yeah, they did. Uh, they opened them holes. I told them, hey, just get a block for a split second. I'll be right through that hole. That's all you got to do. Just get in front of them. So you kick off, you punt. You play tailback, and you carry the water cooler in too when you come into football games, or what? Uh, no, that's your, <laughs> that's not my job. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, congratulations on a nice win. Uh, keep it rolling. Thank you. All right, we'll take. We'll be back with more on the uh, PSP Network after this timeout. business or your home across the town or across the country we know it can be stressful to ensure your possessions arrive on time intact and on budget make your move with jobbers moving and storage jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move with our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule with locations in bismarck fargo minot and aberdeen jobbers moving and storage is your choice visit jobberswarehouse.com it's jobbers moving and storage on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by
Make sure to like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Well, welcome back to our planning team financial advisors Shots Crossroads post game report. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan, applying for farm or business succession, planning team financial advisors are here to help you work toward your achieving your financial goals. Visit us online at planningteam.com. Shots Crossroads get filled up on their delicious menu that includes the famous number 99. Order online at shotscrossroads.com. Whew, team buses are always welcome. Well, 34 7. Josh here tonight, our final score. Um, and, you know, really it was just a matter of time. And Bismarck just, I thought, early in that second quarter, really imposed her will. And uh, from there on out, it was really, made make things really tough for the Legacy Sabres. No question. And we, and we mentioned it a handful of times. They're well coached on three, in three phases of the game. The defense never missed a beat, you know bend a couple times but didn't break um, and then the offense just got going and then shoot you start the second half off with a kick return that's that's always a good way to start a half yeah it certainly is as let's take a look real quick before I'll take a look at the recap the scoring uh, uh, only two scores that second quarter Hanky from 29 yards out extra point was good and then half their one yard touchdown run at the minute 34 mark the extra point was good made it 14 0 at the break well, that took us to the second half, and then uh, right out of the uh, second half, it was an 89-yard kickoff return by McNichols. Uh, the, the extra point was no good, and that made it 20-0. And then it was Hanke uh, from 34 yards out at the 657 mark. Extra point was good. That made it 27 to nothing at the end of the third Bismarck high. Then at the 11.54 mark of quarter, the fourth quarter, it was a six-yard touchdown pass from Hafner to Doctor. The extra point was good, made it 34-0. And then at the 4.21 mark, Legacy finally got on the board. It was Connor Lang on a one-yard touchdown run. Extra point was good, made it 34-7. And that is the final score. Well, Josh, we've got a couple things to do here. we got to give out our... Jobbers Moving and Storage Move of the Game. Sponsored by Jobbers Moving and Storage. They can help you move across town or across the country with locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. And I think the move of the game, uh, we talked about it uh, at halftime, how important it was for Legacy to come out and stop Bismarck High on that uh, opening drive in the fourth quarter. Well, Legacy never got a chance to stop him on that opening drive as McDick McNichols took it down the near sideline from 89 yards out, and that really kind of just made things even more difficult for the Legacy Sabres. Yeah, absolutely. What a it, what a well-schemed kickoff return by the Bismarck High uh, coaching staff, and then great execution, and how about that burst, man? He can run, and he got out and showed us tonight. Well, that is our, ooh, uh, that was right there. There you see it. There is our Jobbers Moving and Storage move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. It was the 89-yard kickoff return by Jiren McNichols, uh, who took it to the house to start off the scoring in the third quarter of play. And he is awarded our Jobbers Moving and Storage move of the game well now it's time to give out our sport clips mvp of the game sport clips brings you the mvp of this matchup sport clips is the home of the mvp haircut experience nothing comes close to making you feel like an mvp quite like the mvp experience at sport clips and tonight's sports clips, sports clips game mvp is well i think it's going to be none other than the young man we talked to uh, carter hankey the senior running uh, tailback uh, you know, we talked, he had a 29-yard touchdown run. Well, he had seven points there. And then uh, he got an ex another extra point. That's eight points there. And then he got another touchdown run. Uh, let's give him 14. And then he got another extra point. Let's give him 15. 16 points tonight by Carter Hankey. Two touchdown runs. Uh, Im impressive night for that young man. A couple kickoffs, a couple punts. I mean, geez. <laughs> uh, you know, he told us he didn't remember. I think, he, I think, I, I, I think he, he was confused when I asked him about carrying the water cooler off the yeah, bus. Yeah, that's about the only thing he didn't do tonight. He was, uh, he was impressive in between the tackles. He ran physical, got some really tough yards at times. But then when he gets out to the perimeter, he gets to the edge, and he's gone. He can run. And um, yep. the, the defensively he got in on a handful of tackles and then what he does on special teams what a what a valuable player to have 
Well, impressive performance uh, here tonight by the Demons. They moved to three and one on the season. The Legacy Sabres, well, they dropped to 0 and four. Uh, on the season and Bismarck High appears uh, to have things turned around here uh, in the early going of this 2023 high school football season. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast here tonight. We want to thank all of the sponsors uh, tonight, uh, BNC National Bank, also to Valvoline Instant Oil Change, Hubbard International Insurance. Serve Pro in the red zone, also uh, Minot State, Roger Ward Moving and Storage, UPS Store, Jersey Mike's, Presswich Orthodontics, Northern Plains Heating and Air, uh, also the Pigskin Preview, the Planning Team Financial Advisor, Shots Crossroads, uh, Sport Clips, and also Jobbers Moving and Storage. Josh, is fun, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Great job uh, by Josh Cattell tonight. Uh, Johnny Haugen uh, doing, a, uh, one, uh, doing a great job as well on the cameras for you. Multiple camera angles tonight here from the MB Resources Community Bowl. Uh, uh, great job uh, by our cameraman, Johnny Haugen. Let's give you a BNC scoreboard update. Uh, eight minutes left in the third. Mandan over Wilson, 20 to 12. Uh, eight minutes left in the third out in Fargo. Shanley over West Fargo. Shan 27-14. And Fargo North up 31-7 over St. Mary's. Seven minutes left up at the Sanford Complex. Uh, Minot High leads uh, Century 30-0. And Davies is over uh, West Fargo. Uh, shot, uh, West Fargo by a score of 30 to 14. Well, we hope you enjoyed the broadcast tonight on the PSP Network. And uh, again, let's take a little, uh, real quick look uh, here as what we have coming up for you next week on the PSP Network. Uh, volleyball, Minot and Century on Tuesday. Williston and Minot and Century and Bismarck High on Thursday. Uh, football, Shanley in town to take on the Century Patriots. Davies travels up to Minot. And then we'll have some 11A football for you as well. Uh, Stanley and Bishop Ryan on Saturday. Repeating our final score here tonight. On homecoming for the Sabres, it was Bismarck High 34, Legacy 7. For Josh Cattell, John Haugen, Scott Woodmancy saying, so long from the MDU Resources Community Bowl. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit jobberswarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. On the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... To like and follow PSP Network on all social media platforms. PSP Network, it's game day. Our stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? <laughs>
Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off. Seven, pressure, point. Yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot. Right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. At Shots Crossroads, we make eight gallons of homemade ranch dressing every day. So you can smother your dinner salad with it, dip those crispy golden french fries in it, and dunk your breaded chicken strips. You can even cover your... Wait, no, no. You can't put ranch on steak. Or can you? Shots Crossroads. Don't forget the ranch.